Hello everybody, it's Rexana with Past Present Herbs and I'm out here in my greenhouse. I just received a pretty big package. I'll let you see. Um, this is a package. Um, <coughs> on the package it says right here. Um, I hope you can see it. It is from Strictly Medicinals and um, I ordered this several months ago um, and um, you I go on there every year um, I've been doing this probably four years now um, this is my fourth year um, a couple of years ago well it's been about five six years now I've been ordering seeds from them and um, I, through a other herbalist um, she was ordering some plants from them she got some and was um, semi happy with them but she went to some someplace else but I kind of thought well I ordered some and I was very pleased <clears throat> and so I from time to time will order some plants uh, I got one two years ago um, that he just threw in for free and I don't know why um, I don't know if it was a mistake or not, but I really enjoy getting some plants from him. I enjoy the teachings, his books, and everything. So, sometimes you go on there and you see what he's got, and I don't see any other place that has these kinds of plants <laughs> but him. His name is Rico, and I'm going to try to get these plants out. They're pretty well established. They're pretty well in there. It takes a while to get them out. So I'm going to try to get them out. I may have to stop and get them out and then come back. But the reason he spends a lot of time, here's one of them. This here is ashwagandha. I've never been able to get ashwagandha like this started. Um, he is a botanist. He, he is into botany. And so he may know some tricks and he's an organ. So he may know, he does know a lot of other uh, ways to get them started than me. I don't know really what all he does, but he has, here it is. This is ashwagandha. And it is Vedic ashwagandha with ionin. I'm probably not pronouncing the proper way to say it. Um, it's this species uh, type. But anyway, this is how he he always does a really good job of packaging all of his plants. And I don't ever just get one plant, but you know, it's usually I get it all out undo it and then I usually give them all a good watering today because today this more this this day is just really a very f foggy cloudy day um so I don't think I'm going to be doing any planting today I'm off today but I'm just going to wait until it's a, a little bit better day um ashwagandha I take ashwagandha every day and so <coughs> I'm just going to be going through in this video what I got and then we'll go, we'll go through a little bit more in detail what each plant and the benefits of it are. But this is going to be a beautiful plant in itself. We're not going to go through any of the benefits. But this is how they package them and I'll put the information for um, Strictly Medicinals at, and I'll you know you want to make sure to keep your little label so you know especially if you're not familiar with the plant you might be familiar with the herb but it's kind of hard if you're not familiar with the plant itself so I will go on and I will continue to get the rest of the plants out and then I'll come back and um, we'll see each plant okay <coughs> okay I'm all done. Um, I've got 
I've got 12 plants and I've got wild lettuce. I got three of those and it's called, um, well, I'm just going to show it to you. You probably won't be able to see it. Uh, uh, lacta, lacta, bear, virosa, virosa. And this is a wonderful plant. Um, it does not grow wild in this area at all. Um, I have looked for it when I've been out foraging and I have some friends that, uh, they've sent me, I've, I've ordered this, um, online from other herb, um, herbal places and I have some friends that it does grow wild in their area and they've tinctured it for me. Um, I hurt my back, um, and tried several different herbs and some relief I got, but wild lettuce, I will, I will mention this as a, as a testimony. Um, and this is not just a regular tincture herb. You have to do it in a certain way, and I'm not going to go into the details about that, but a friend of mine, uh, she uh, put me in contact with a friend of hers, and she gave me uh, the... Um, we're just all herbalists, and I'm, I think these other two ladies were going to school for, um, to be a, and anyway, um, so, um, they weren't going to school to become a doctor, but they were, um, advancing their career where they would be more than just, um, herbalists, and so, anyway, um, they uh, were finding out to make this tincture and so i bought some of her and it really helped my back pain so that's why i'm interested in doing wild lettuce um if you get it started in your area it will grow in this area where i'm at which is 7b it'll grow extremely tall it's kind of considered a weed but um it, it has like once it gets really tall um, a milky substance in it and that milky substance is what you're after it, they say that it, it acts like an opium, but it's not opium because it's not addicted or addictive or anything like that. So anyway, we did talk about um, ashwagandha, and I've got three of these ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is a great plant to have around your homestead. And this is another one that's really good. This is a tag. I didn't see it till just now. Stinging nettles. Stinging nettles is really good for a multitude of reasons. For me, I like to have it because it's very nutritious and it's also great for your allergies. That's the main two things that I use it for. But the nutrition content, um, it's got lots of vitamins and minerals in it. So stinging nettles, I got three of them and I hope to have it growing uh, proficiently on my homestead. Um, another really good one, uh, <clears throat> you know, as we all know about yarrow, um, I, I had some yarrow, I've got some yarrow started out there, I've got some yarrow started in a pot over here. I want to have yarrow pretty um, everywhere on my homestead. Um, this is yarrow also, I have three yarrow. Um, yarrow is great for uh, colds and flus. It's great for um, getting a child's fever down. It's great, you know, for infants. It's great for elderly people. It's great for all kinds of things. I mean, yarrow is just great, period. But we also know that yarrow is great for emergency medicine. It's great for camping. You take it with you camping. It's great, you know, because they, they've used yarrow for centuries and for millennia because of the fact that yarrow is used to help stop bleeding wounds, you know, instantly along with cayenne kind of pepper. Um, so yarrow is really good because it's used for emergency medicine. So if you need to use it in preparation, like if you're just in your kitchen, you know, and you cut your finger, you can uh, stop a bleed really good. Um, they said that that soldiers out in the um, out in the field that that had wounds and they were you know like in, in a battle or whatever they used it to stop major wounds. 
So, I mean, I would think this is a really good one to have several plans um, because you might need several uh, ways, um, tincture, um, powders, um, several, several of these. So that's why I got several plants and I've got several plants growing from seed. I just wanted to have several, you know, and it produces such a beautiful flower. It's such a beautiful um, addition to your homestead. So anyway, um, I'll let you see all of them. It takes a lot of, um, a lot of, and um, I'm going to, I'm going to go over what these are right here. This is what he wraps around the, the, the tops right here. It's kind of a mess right now, but these are this right here. And this is a kind of a treasure. I think this is why I really like these papers right here go over the top some of them were dry some of them are uh, this is illustrated by his daughter and if you're just grabbing them off the top of your plants and you're just throwing them away these are treasures i think anyway um these are all drawn by his daughter his daughter is a great artist and um, these right here, um, some of them, this one got wet. And you can see his daughter, she draws real cute little pictures, um, like cartoonish, almost like. But she also has a very, she's very talented. She illustrates all of his books. This one got wet. I'm gonna lay it out here and let it dry. Um, he has a great knowledge in plant. He's very, um, knowledgeable. This one talks about aloe. Of course, he's got all of the prices and, but he talks about a little bit about each one in here. And he, you know, talks about the leaves and, and the, the prices and all that kind of stuff. But there's a little bit of information just just a tad bit of information, nothing grand or anything like that. And then seeds and plants, you know, he didn't have like major information on any of these one things. But I just like to save them and you can go back over them. This is just something like he talks about lettuce and the, uh, just just all the information on, on what you're getting. Um, basically what you're maybe what you're not getting what you might want to get and I just find it interesting to say this and you may want to throw it away later um, and then yeah I just kind of think well you know what I'm not gonna throw that away right now I'm gonna save it for later you can read over it and then throw it away um, but some of this stuff you know um, he's got some stuff down in the corner talks about um, what goes with what, what don't go with what, um, in his book. Okay, I got kind of got cut off. In, um, in, in Rico's book, in the back of his book, it talks about companion planning, and so that's what I've done. I've uh, used um, the back of his book for complaining, companion planning for some herbs and knowing how to plant like the comfrey um, and putting it under my um, fruit trees. So anyway, um, yeah. Um, so I'll link all that information in the bottom of this video. And so I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut this video short now. Um, I just wanted to unbox some of my plants and see if you guys might enjoy that. Um, I think the next video, I'm just about finished getting everything together um, for comfrey. Um, if, um, I don't know if the comfrey video will be coming out first or if I'll have this video come out first. I don't know, but in any, either way, I hope you enjoy the comfrey video. And, um, so, um, I hope you guys have a great, um, day and I hope you give this video a like, a share and a subscribe. Um, I'm trying to get some more videos out um, in the next coming months. I know I have slacked off 
really severely but I'm trying my very best and um, this is my favorite time of year and so I'm gonna be planning and um, planting and planning some more videos and hopefully